Hey YouTube, it's Ryan the Tales End, and um, I haven't posted anything about myself for a while. Um, as you can see, I switched to contact lenses because if you can see, there are like marks underneath where my glasses were, so they go back in the case, and um, I will try to use no glasses, maybe. Um, also, my doctor said that. Uh, all the nausea things that I had that I wasn't actually sick it might actually be from my glasses but I'm like nauseated like oh, really nauseated from um wearing contact lenses again it's kind of a funny switch um what else what was I going to talk about oh I may possibly have to shut all of this down um if I have a, if I get the certain job that I'm looking for, or the certain job that I've applied for, uh, there are certain security things that I can't actually post on YouTube. I can still tweet and, and Facebook and do things like that, but um, there are certain things that I can't put up and uh, a post with me talking about stuff like world events and uh, anything to do with what my personal life would be while I was working at that, that organization um, I could not post it on here I can post it's hot I can post um, you know <laughs> I'm just afraid and they're afraid that I'm going to post something that uh, is going to possibly be a security risk and so um, therefore it's easier just not to post anything so uh, if I disappear or suddenly or if I I probably will make a post saying that I have to disappear suddenly so um, you can contact me and I can tell you what's happening but uh, I can't say out loud publicly <laughs> what's gonna if it's gonna happen I don't even know if it's gonna happen so but uh, it involves me moving out of the country and doing stuff and um, stuff that I can't say out loud <laughs> or I can't put out there. If you want to contact me privately and ask, uh, that's, I'm sure, is my hair really like that? I'm sure that should be fine, but um, other than that, that's just a warning out there. Um, the thing I wanted to talk about is the the protests in Egypt and the protests around the, the Arab world this week. Uh, I, I know a lot of you care about this information. A lot of my Jewish friends are very, very, um, I'm not sure if excited is the word, but um, concerned about what is happening within the Arab world. Uh, if, if you don't know what's happening the last like about 10 days, Egypt has been protesting we, it looks like the end of the Mubarak uh, presidency, who's been the president of uh, Egypt since Anwar Sadat got assassinated in Egypt. Um, and uh, it's been pretty much 30 years of stability between Egypt and Israel, which are neighbors. And uh, stability in one of the largest countries in the Arab world that <laughs> without Mubarak... Even though he was a terrible dictator, who knows what will happen to Egypt? Will they fall like Saudi Arabia? Will they end up like the Palestinians? Will the country shatter into a few pieces? I don't know what's going to happen. And um, we've, we've seen this happen many times throughout history and throughout my lifetime, actually. You see, I've seen the collapse of the Soviet Union. I've seen the collapse of Yugoslavia, the, the wars in the Balkans, the wars everywhere that we've, as Americans or someone else has started. And this whole like few days have, have been like turmoil and insecurity. It's just, it makes me feel uneasy. It wasn't like when uh, Pakistan had their uh, prime minister assassinated, uh, Benazir Bhutto. Uh, when, when she was assassinated a, few, a couple of years ago but uh, this is something to be concerned Algeria had protests um, yeah, Tunisia had protests and in Tunisia the, um, the, the president who was 
uh, autocratic dictator for 20, almost 25 years, got removed, went to Saudi Arabia. Um, it looks like that's going to probably be the same in, uh, in Egypt. There also was a, um, a protest in, in Lebanon where uh, the Hezbollah, which is the same people in, um, in, uh, Pal in the Palestinian areas of the, uh, the Gaza Strip, or is it Hamas? Anyway, uh, Hezbollah is part of the ruling, was part of the ruling party, and they took themselves out of parliament, made a parliamentary uh, problem, and uh, it resulted in a different prime minister and uh, more pro-Syrian, pro-Iran kind of government. And it's, I mean, if you, if you don't understand the area, you probably shouldn't even be watching this video and about why I feel uneasy about the area. I was a political science major in, in college, and this was not actually my my big thing. My, my big thing was, uh, obviously, uh, Asia. No, um, my big thing was, was democratic movements uh, when, when they happened before, and it, Egypt looks like a big, huge one. Uh, Sudan looks like a big, huge one, too. Southern Sudan probably voted 99%, if not more, to secede from northern Sudan. So that's something. And Egypt having violent protests in Alexandria and Cairo and basically every major city in Egypt is really extraordinary because the, of the iron grip that the, uh, the government has. And, I, I mean... This is a government that was able to completely squeeze off all internet access, all phone access. Uh, the, the, the fact that anyone was able to send out photos and send out information, even just telephone calls, is quite amazing. Uh, thank you for satellite technology because it's not something that the government can just shut down. Um, this is something that could happen in the United States. I mean, this is something that can happen in any country. And then when people say, no, it can't happen here, it happened here. It happened here during the civil rights movement. We didn't have, obviously, social media at that time. It happened during the Iran Revolution in 2009, the, the so-called Green Revolution, when people were pissed off that the president was still the president of Iran. And when stuff like this happens... It's, I mean, the only thing that we can do in America is, uh, well, um, as America, we can meddle with the situation. And we have meddled with situations like this many, many times throughout our history. Something that is a good and bad thing because we're able to stop wars. But at the same time, we're also able to install brutal dictators that, albeit the country is now stable, it no longer has any political freedom, any um, religious freedom and uh, the, the thing that bothers me the most is that there, there are uh, conservative Christians out there on the, the blogosphere saying that it is a good thing that Mubarak is in power because then the Christians are, are not going to be killed when Mubarak was in power he, he didn't necessarily because the, the, these um, organizations were like um, you know more about um secular militant militarism rather than um being in power but I, I honestly don't see a big problem with religion in politics because it, it happens in the united states and um fortunately or unfortunately we don't kill everyone here and uh it happens in turkey turkey just had its uh first unsecular government in its history uh, and it didn't get overthrown by a military dictator. Uh, th this is just amazing stuff. But um, not necessarily all of these things are going to work out. In Lebanon, thankfully, there is a great understanding because there are so many religions that, um, that you can't necessarily force your religion on everyone. In um, Syria, the same thing. In Jordan, the same thing. Uh, the reason that we allowed these horrible dictators to be put into power, I'm not saying everyone is a, a horrible dictator now, but 
the reason that we allowed them to go into power is so that they could control something that could be potentially very explosive in in the arab world which is religion it's fairly explosive i mean look at israel look at uh egypt before the the truces but i mean the, the real question is do we have to meddle as the united states and i think the answer for that is actually yes and um you know there were so many times that the united states was correct to meddle in the affairs of, of foreign nations there's so many times that we did it wrong too this can be said about any uh, any uh superpower in the world at any point in time there you're gonna get things wrong and you're gonna get things right and we need to intervene so people won't necessarily die we need to intervene so that um there is not a power vacuum uh, there, there are very powerful forces within Egypt, within the Arab world, that can push a country into complete and absolute chaos. And there are calming people, like in, in Egypt, al who who are preaching things like, you know, nonviolence, peaceful protests, and... Um, and it works. It works because the, the soldiers are not killing the people. People are still getting killed. But um, you also have to understand in Egypt, there's two tiers of military. There is the uh, presidential guard thing that is loyal to the president. And there's the actual army, which is um, probably going to be the key, key decider within this conflict because they have the training, they have the tanks, they have the planes and everything, everything, everything. Uh, the, the fact that the uh, vice president or the new vice president is going to be the the head of uh, was the head of the security services is kind of scary but uh, there's there's not much that they can do now but we have to wait for the uh, for what the army is going to do in Egypt to figure out what the heck is going to happen so um, I don't know not sure what to think and I'm kind of apprehensive on what's gonna happen I'm pretty sure Mubarak is gonna be gone but will one of his cronies take over who knows I have no idea um, but yeah most people don't watch this like 50 people watch this so if you watch this uh, thank you if you don't whatever and uh, I hope that yeah, I always want to think the good about humanity, but it doesn't necessarily always show up. I hope that the good of humanity shows up in these situations. Because uh, if they don't, then we get Hitler, we get Stalin, we get uh, Cambodia, we get Rwanda. I just hope we don't get one of these. Next time it's going to be Egypt. I just hope. Okay, it's Ryan and Tails in. Uh, signing off. I hope you like this. Mm-hmm.